The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? Oh, blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, same. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me today, I've got two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is the 2021 funniest person in Wichita, Kansas, none other than the wreck himself, Mr. Derek Alders. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, Scotty, I think you live in the perfect neighborhood. You're right. Yeah, uh, there are a shitload of other douchebags because there are five houses that still have their goddamn Christmas lights on. <laughs> yeah, just on just on the way from the one street to your street. I know it's ridiculous. That's okay. It's it's still technically uh, January, isn't it? They should be shot. Okay, fair enough. Uh, but we have a guest on today's show. We we told everybody about him uh, last week. He is a great stand up comedian. This is Mike Baldwin. <laughs> Howdy, fellas. Howdy. So, dude, you're on the freaking road. Yeah. I'm, sort of. I'm doing a, I got a little side business convincing people to leave their Christmas lights up just a little <laughs> bit longer. <laughs> it just, it spreads cheer throughout the year. I don't know. Some people like to shit on it. But I, don't know. <laughs> I think they're just sad inside. <laughs> Probably. Oh, shit. Uh, but yeah, we've got an excellent episode uh, featuring Mike Baldwin, uh, but uh, we've got a lot of stuff to get through. We obviously had uh, the, uh, what, the league championships over the last weekend. Yeah. We get to talk about that. Great. Uh, we've got uh, overrated or underrated as usual. We've got Google this, questions in preguntas, and a draft, and as always, a shitty situation. But if this is the very first time you are listening to a Laughing on the Sidelines podcast, this is not a this is a comedy show where we like to use uh, foul language and make loud noises. So if that's not your thing, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thanks, bye. We've only I, made I, loud noises one time. One time, and that was with Jeremy with an air horn. That's it. That's it. Okay. But this is also an adult podcast, so uh, yeah, have fun. I fucked all that up, but that's okay. We're going to move on. You're just really nervous because Mike's here. Mike's here. He's a yeah, celebrity, man. I feel like you nailed it, man. <laughs> no, was, I didn't. <laughs> I know everything there is to know about the show now. I am fucking foggy, so I'm going to just kind of skirt my way through this whole deal. But um, You we, were talking to me when you said all those things. You're I like, know. if you've yeah. never listened to this before, <laughs> then here's how it's going to go. And I'm sitting here like, okay, yeah. good. That's good info to have. <laughs> Yes. Uh, what we would like you're to do. You're not missing anything. <laughs> yeah, you're not. Um, but uh, before we get to all the uh, the sports stuff and the fun stuff, we like to talk about what happened to us over this last weekend. Uh, but uh, we've never met you, Mike, so we're going to let you kick off the week week recap. Who are you, and what have you been up to over the last several months? Several months or, or this weekend? Or you this gotta weekend. be specific, nah, man. Just do what you want to do. Um, this <laughs> last weekend, I was in Springfield, Missouri, doing comedy shows. I hear that's a nice town, isn't it? It was an all right okay. place. Yeah, <laughs> I. I feel like if if hospitals and colleges didn't exist, then Springfield wouldn't exist. <laughs> Those are like the two main reasons that that place is staying a town. Right. Everything else is like weird dining places you yeah. know like hey come in here and you can eat leaves <laughs> <laughs> and people are like do you know how good leaves actually are for you not a lot of people know that <laughs> that's how springfield seems to me but the week before that i was in kansas city doing comedy shows and oh yeah yeah that's like my whole thing is just comedy shows yeah. and trying to make money and sure yeah. have, have you been to anywhere like really really cool I went to the Bahamas oh, yeah? for, for two weeks did, once. Did they understand your jokes? 
Uh, yeah, I mean, for the most part, it okay. was a lot of the, most people that were there were just on vacation. So oh, okay. I don't think nobody was upset like, hey, I spent good money on this. <laughs> They're just like, if you want, you can go to the comedy show. It starts at 630 or whatever weird shit they made us do. But we got to hang out in the Bahamas and like pet dolphins and oh, fun. do water slides and all that shit. It was great. I hear dolphins try to like hump you. <laughs> I guess they're not into my kind of <laughs> style. They were just nothing but polite to me. <laughs> wow. That's, that sucks for like a, an ugly woman or whatever. <laughs> just like, oh, man, watch out. You're going to get sexually harassed in here. And she just walks past everybody, and they're like, miss, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> It's like, I thought I was going to get hit on. Oh, uh, no, ma'am. Not you. <laughs> oh, it's fucking great. So, so doing comedy, have you ever, uh, have you ever um, be- done or opened a show for somebody like really big? Um, yeah. Well, I mean, no, like, <laughs> yes, I have, but it's, it's been so long ago now that you're like, Oh, that's the big name that you're <laughs> like. I got to open for Tommy Chong way back when. And yeah. one of the coolest things was like, after we did five shows together and after the show, he would like sell his t-shirts or whatever. And, yeah. and the whole crowd would line up to shake his hand and have him sign something. They'd have their DVDs and stuff with him, And, yeah. and everybody would give him weed. They would give him like, like a little cigarette cellophane with some weed in it. And so as the whole week went on, he just put it all in this crown Royal bag, like a, <laughs> that a bottle of crown Royal comes in. You sure. know, at the end of the week, he was like, Hey man, I'm flying out tomorrow. I'm not bringing any of this weed with me. So it's all yours. <laughs> oh, and I was like, Holy shit. <laughs> so for like the next month and a half, me and all my friends were just like, let's smoke some Tommy Chong weed, dude. <laughs> oh, good. It's God. like whenever you're a kid and your dad gives you a cup full of change. Like, <laughs> right. Oh my God, you're rich. <laughs> I can use this forever. <laughs> Yeah, it was pretty cool. But yeah, I mean, I've opened for uh, some funny people here and there. And yeah. I lived in New York for a couple of years and oh, met a, a couple of big names and whatnot. I met Chris Rock twice. Didn't talk to him either time. <laughs> the second time he smiled at me like, you little bitch, you ain't going to say shit. Because <laughs> I saw him once and I like I could I had the look on my face like, you're Chris Rock. Like, oh, my God, I'm a big <laughs> fan. Or But I just said nothing, you know, and he just walked on by. And then I saw him again like three days later and he just looked at me like, you're that same pussy that was too <laughs> oh, scared to say anything the other day and he just like smirked at me as he walked by like you ain't gonna say shit <laughs> should have walked up and smacked him across no, the face i would have been the first <laughs> <laughs> i'm watching the grammys like will smith stole that from me <laughs> fucking hack <laughs> oh shit well welcome to the show did you do anything else over the last weekend at all um let's see here no okay <laughs> fair enough uh but yeah i i guess i'll go ahead and go um over this last weekend i had actually a pretty like fun weekend um i guess uh what i've been talking about that annoys the shit out of Derek and anybody uh. else that we have on i am ready to fucking go snowboarding i finally got my boards good to go and my fucking boots are finally here i'm ready to rock and fucking roll so I'm happy that that's over with, and I don't have to talk about it anymore. They, your boots. Oh, you're still going to talk about it. Your boots am. click in. To yes, the, they do. That seems like a like a an area where a skateboarder would be like, "Oh, I have one up on you," because <laughs> I fucking I don't have my feet locked in. Yeah. So it, why, why don't they snowboard the same way? They do actually. They have a they have a ski boards. I think is what they're called, but they're skateboards that are made for the snow. So they have those, and those are more skateboardish kind of people, like athletes. Yeah, fuck you. Um, <laughs> but the snow, snowboarders, it, I don't, it's a fucking culture, man. Uh, it, you don't want that fucking thing flying off with as much air as I get. You know what I'm saying? I don't really. <laughs> <but>. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, yeah, that's over and done with. But a no, really, no, it's not. Yes, it is. Uh, but actually, I have a really good story. Um, there Did was, you get hit by a car? No, oh, no, I didn't. Uh, but no, we had a, a listener of the show who lives in uh, Western Kansas. Uh, drove all the way uh, to Wichita over this last weekend and, and to Manhattan. He had some uh, relatives and some friends and stuff like that. So he passed through, and he wanted to uh, meet me. I've been talking to him, our good buddy Frankie. 
right? I don't know who he is. Yeah, I know. But uh, he came through, and it was his birthday, so we ended up going to some Texas Roadhouse. I got some of those fucking rolls that are awesome. Mm. Yeah. And then uh, we ended up going and hanging out at fucking Town East Mall. My God, that's a fun fucking What is this guy, like 12? <laughs> no. no, he turned... Uh, then we went to the arcade? <laughs> no. It sounds uh, fun, he, he He turned 26, but uh, my present for him... Uh, was actually got gave him a a tour of the studio. It was what a <laughs> shitty gift. <laughs> he <laughs> thought the worst it, thing ever. He thought it was a pretty cool gift. So uh, I happy, thought getting happy spanked on my birthday was bad. That's worse. <laughs> I gave him all of like some of the old notes for all of the previous episodes. I gave him a whole bunch of them because they were just going to go in the trash. You're like, anyways. here, take this trash for me on your way out. <laughs> that's exactly what it was. I can keep this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, buddy, whatever you want. <laughs> that's, that's right. Uh, but no, it was Not really going through the dumpster in the front. <laughs> right. Like, what else can we? Oh, chicken bone, jackpot. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it was a really good time. I had a lot of fun doing uh, hanging out with him and his friends. It was really cool. Uh, but yeah, that was uh, that was the fun part of my week. You want to load up your car with this asbestos? <laughs> We're trying to clean this room out. <laughs> what? I can keep this? <laughs> All right. You're uh, not going to believe it. He let me rake his leaves, and I got to keep them. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I wish he would have, because it still needs to be done. Oh, there you know. go, buddy. Christmas is coming. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long some, ways away, but it's, it's like coming. the farthest that it can possibly be from Christmas right now. But yeah, no, good point. Yeah, we could probably talk him into taking down some of my neighbor's Christmas lights. That would be a great idea. <laughs> but then Mike's not going to make any money. That's right. Yeah. It's Side business. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but anyways, that was my week. So uh, Derek, what have you been up to? Uh, being an asshole. Yeah, yeah. you're good at that. Yeah, I went back to that same bar and trolled again this week did you and watched uh ku uh hope i wish they were gonna lose they did not i know i saw that uh and you know what i i i kind of have to give it to to ku fans a little bit okay because uh they aren't there's i remember how obnoxious they were Mm -hmm. there was only one of those this time really oh yeah and the first thing like the first like three minutes into the game this bitch is fucking screaming and hooting and hollering and i'm like fuck is it march (laughs) And uh, the table behind her, which is the table behind us, she looks back at them and she just goes, fuck off. (laughs) And then turns back around, like gives them a, I don't know what they said, (laughs) but, and they were rooting for Kansas. So (laughs) I don't, I don't know what the fuck exchange was. Wow. But I was like, okay, so this bitch really is annoying. Yeah. Yeah. But the rest of them weren't that bad. That's good. So I would just really try and antagonize her. Nice. So they I got do. To. The, the the douchebag KU fans normally travel in packs. They 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 definitely do. There's at least ten of them. So I did that, and then I uh, I ended up. I think I had like six drinks. I had like six bourbon and waters, which mm. is what I drink. And I I probably could have passed a breathalyzer. So I was like, okay, now do you want to go to the real bar? <laughs> so so we went down to the O and had a had a tie the night off there. So oh, okay. It was it wasn't too shabby. And then yesterday I had a buddy over and we watched the the games and. Oh, man. I know, like, three weeks ago on here, I said that I didn't think the NFL was scripted and it was a bunch of bullshit. We're going to get to that here in a little bit. But, by God, I was ready to just stop (laughs) watching on fifth down. Yeah. I I, I was like, well, I know what's going to happen now. I don't need to watch it anymore. Yep. We'll get to that here in a second. Yeah, we can talk about that in a minute. Uh, but no, anything else to do that was, uh, worth your while? No, that was pretty no. much a lot of drinking except for yesterday. Yeah, I did yeah. a lot of that too. I, I did do a lot of that too. Got to hang out with our buddy Bob. Yeah. Was yeah. he a listener of the show? Was it his birthday? Did you, <laughs> did you take him to go play dodgeball or mini golf or something? No, putt was, putt. Was it Frankie's Make-A-Wish? Is that what it was? <laughs> yeah, that's what exactly a what shitty was. Make-A-Wish. No. <laughs> he could have had John Cena. <laughs> that and guy will do anything. He chose me. I'll take it. Yeah. I had a good time with him. John Cena like leads the league in make a wishes. He does. He's like, you want to do a glory hole in a pizza hut? Come on. (laughs) No one out pizzas the hut. Yeah. They don't even see me. You're right. (laughs) And and he speaks Chinese. (laughs) Does he? He really does. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, because he said Taiwan was a country at one point. (laughs) And then the the Chinese were like, hey, we're we're not going to show Fast and Furious 20 or whatever it was. And he came on and did a whole apology in Chinese. Oh, fuck. I was just like, I'm so, so sorry. Like, <laughs> fuck Taiwan. I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> oh, shit. That's great. Uh, well, uh, glad everybody had uh, good weeks. Uh, nice to meet good old Mike down there. Uh, but 
Before we get on to the the sports that we're going to talk about, we got to give a shout out to our sponsor, Manscaped.com. Guys, if you haven't checked them out, they make excellent products to help keep your keep your balls and dick and asshole nice and trim. Do you know about this product down there, Mike? I'm aware. Yeah, yeah. I I haven't actually used the Manscaped brand oh. yet. So I don't know if they would, uh, do they nick and cut less no. than? Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. It might be worth a shot. Yeah, you can try mine. I can go get mine yeah, from upstairs. All right. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Little better than the members, Mark. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, that's what I have now is like Walmart brand <laughs> ball shaver. <laughs> no, they. Your dick it, looks like a fell in a rose bush. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's just a given. Every time I trim, every, I'm like, all right, I'm going to have like eight little scratches on me. <laughs> God, those hurt. Do you have a cat? No, I. (laughs) (laughs) Just grooming. (laughs) God. No, they have an excellent product called the Lawnmower 4.0. That is their um, flagship product. It's uh, it's a ball trimmer that will not cut you. It's actually pretty damn awesome. It's got a a, a removable and replaceable ceramic blade. It's got an adjustable light, too, so you can do that shit in the dark if you really want to. (laughs) What did you do? What's wrong with your life? But you're like, (laughs) uh, it's dark. The electricity's out. But I gotta shave my balls. <laughs> Just tr- and, and then when you're done, you can tell a scary story. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, it's it a- was the man without a scrotum. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. But it vibrates, so you can do the throat thing. <laughs> it was a man without a scrotum. <laughs> mm. It does. Uh, but no, it also has a docking station that you can uh, put that on your uh, bathroom counter to just let everybody know that comes into your bathroom that you keep your downstairs nice and tidy, which, okay. is, very, which is very important. Uh, but they also have other products. They have things like the ball, de- ball deodorant, which is uh, very fantastic. That makes your nuts not smell like Fumunda, you know? Hmm. Yeah. They've got ball toner. As well, which is very nice. Make is it, that for color or? Uh, I just know that JP likes to put it on his on his uh, cheekbones and makes him look so nice it's for, and younger. It's for tautness. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> it tightens yeah, the sack. Absolutely. Uh, but they have a whole bunch of other products that you can check out at manscaped.com. Use the promo code SIDELINES. Get 20% off of your order and free shipping. That helps you out, helps us out, and lets Manscaped know that we are doing all of these commercials word for word. There you go. All right, now we get to get on to the fun stuff. Uh, obviously, we had playoff football. Um, so we obviously had uh, the San Francisco 49ers at the Philadelphia Eagles. What a fucking letdown that was. Yeah, they were God. on like, their sixth quarterback. Christian McCaffrey played quarterback very almost, briefly. Almost. Very did. briefly, like one or two snaps. I don't even think he did. I think he was getting ready to, and then they gave it back to Brock Purdy just so he could hand the ball off. It just sucked because I was – I don't really care who won that game. I really didn't. But I really wanted Brock Purdy to do really well. And then he just got hurt so early in the fucking game. And it was just so tough to fucking watch. Towards UCL. Is that what it was? Mm -hmm. Son of a bitch. Six months. He's out six months. That really sucks. Um, But I think out of... uh, out of that, the coolest thing I did see, did you see Nick Bosa lose his fucking shit? He was there watching his brother play, and there were some fans that were jawing at him. And Nick he'd... Bosa plays for the 49ers. You're talking about Joey Bosa? Oh. I, no. Joey Bosa plays for the maybe it was Maybe it was Joey. I don't know, but it was one of the Bosa guys, and he was talking some mad shit to fans. Fans are going to heckle you, right? And he ended up just snapping. You know what I'm saying? I just don't see those kind of guys to let it get under their skin so easily. He was talking some mad shit to the dude, too. I saw that. I don't know if I would talk shit to a guy that size. I wouldn't either. He'd eat you. I mean, there's a lot of lessons I've learned in life, and that was one of the early ones. Yeah. But part of it is like, if this guy attacks me, I'm going to get a fat payday. That's true. That's You do got that going for you. That is definitely true. Uh, Sue that son of a bitch for all he's worth, I guess. That's a good point. Um, but yeah, so the uh, Philadelphia Eagles are going to the Super Bowl, and unfortunately, they are going to play the Kansas City Chiefs. You're a big Chiefs fan. No, I'm not. You bought all the gear. No, I don't. I don't have it. It's gone. I refuse because I am not a Kansas City Chiefs fan. But the referees sure shit are. If you know what I'm saying, Mike, do you watch the game? I watched. Uh, <coughs> I I watched it after it was over. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, the highlights. Yeah. Yeah, that's, I, the, that's all you needed. I don't have, I just have internet. I don't have like television at my house. So sure. if I really care about the game, I'll look it up on YouTube at the end of each quarter and watch the quarter recap. Oh, And if shit. I don't really care that much at all, then I'll wait till the whole game's over and then watch like, it's 15 minutes. Yeah. It's the entire sense. game. Yeah. In 15 minutes. And I know everything that everybody else knows and <laughs> yeah. didn't have to waste several hours being like, oh, ah. Come on. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I could have very easily done it for both of the games this week because you kind of <clears> knew <throat> that uh I mean, I was really pulling for for Burrow. I wanted the Bengals to go to the, the Super Bowl again, hopefully maybe have an opportunity to actually win one, but the game was at Arrowhead Stadium and but, I'm Yeah, they're saying the refs helped a little too much. What That's what I was getting ready to ask. Which, because Derek kind of touched on it earlier, do you think the NFL playoffs are rigged? It makes me not want to watch. I don't. I'm having people over for Super Bowl, but I really don't even want to watch the game. I don't know if I want to watch it anymore. Yeah, the fifth down did it for me, and I yeah. know that they're like, well, nothing really. He got sacked the next play, yes, but there was also defensive holding the next play. Then they did get some positive yardage, which pinned Cincinnati back farther, mm-hmm. and it did change field position. And you also had uh, on that punt return, there was a block in the back that doesn't get didn't called. Get called. They mm-hmm. always call that shit on punt returns. They do. They did not call that. They didn't call two holding calls on that same scramble where where he won the game. Yeah, basically they there was didn't call. they missed two of them. Yes, Burrow got rocked uh, on late, one play. They didn't hit, do anything. Didn't call. Nope. The intentional grounding. If you're going to call that on Burrow, you have to call that mm-hmm. on Mahomes yep. because he didn't pass the line of scrimmage with the ball either. Yep. And where the guy reached out for that first down and pulled it back, it's where you go down at, not where the ball was at one point. It's like if you run a reverse and you get tackled in the backfield, you're tackled in the backfield. That's where the ball is. So. It's it's technically it's forward progress where the ball was whenever you were stopped is what it is. Well, then where he was stopped, the ball is still right there. Mm. I, I just – if it's the goal line, that's a touchdown. But on the first down thing, I don't agree with it. Yeah. And I will say this. There is a lot of people. I, I don't think, like, the defender, Joseph Osai, I believe is how you pronounce his name, the gentleman, the guy that, that actually – him. Yeah, that shoved him at the very end of the game and got the the unnecessary roughness or late hit penalty at the end of the game. I it, That was definitely a penalty. It was a late hit. So 100% I agree with the call. When he pushed him out of bounds? Yeah. yeah. I yeah. saw that, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was definitely a late hit, and that's not what I'm arguing about. Everything else, though, was just shitty. Yeah. It was just really, really shitty. It was but all how, the other shit. But how many games have we seen in our lives where the Chiefs are on the other side of that equation, where it's like, God, they got screwed by the refs today. Like, yeah, not in the last four years, but I mean, it's, I'm, you know, I'm 41. I've been watching the chiefs since I was a little kid. And I can remember multiple occasions where it's like, Oh my God, like we had that one. Oh yeah, for sure. It was just so many in a row and it all went that way and it wasn't called the other way. Yeah, and that's where I am. Like, come the fuck on. Yeah, and I'm one of those guys that <clears throat> you never b- blame the game on the officials. Right. You never do that. You lost the game somehow, and I still believe that. But god damn it, they were really trying hard. It was it was almost blatantly obvious. It was just like, nope, we want the Chiefs in the fucking Super Bowl. So Storyline was too good. It was. was good. So, do you think it's like WWE? That's what I feel football? like. Football, like, is that? <sighs> yeah. I, it's it's classified as an entertainment league, and I was like, I actually made the comment yesterday. I said the only thing that would make this feel more scripted is if Roman Reigns came out of the stands and hit <laughs> Joe Burrow with a steel chair while the refs were distracted. <laughs> like Burrow back to pass. Oh my God! It's Roman Reigns. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Uh, yeah, I don't. I mean, I just don't know how y- you can fake. A whole I, game, I don't know. you know what I mean? Yeah. I, the only thing you can do, I guess, is pay the refs off or pay off a player or two or something. But still, I mean, I think even that would be yeah. I- illegal if they got caught doing that kind of stuff. Oh, 100%. I mean, you would have, I mean, the Vegas would go fucking ape shit. But, but can, if you go to Vegas, can you bet on like the Royal Rumble or something like that? Oh, yeah. I think you I can. Don't, but it, it, I don't think you can. Oh, that, well, I guess that would make sense. Because that just happened, actually, <clears throat> over the weekend was the yeah. WWE Royal Rumble. 
Um, they wouldn't put it on the big screen. But you, So you can't what? bet on wrestling, even though it is scripted and there's somebody out there that knows the outcome before the thing starts? Not now. Now, I don't know if you could have in the 80s. Whenever it was still up in the air. Right. Sure. You know what I mean? People are like, no, it's real. It's totally real. Yeah. You might have been able to back then. I don't know. Did they really think it was real? Oh, back in the 80s and really? 90s, that was the big debate. Wow. Yeah, that was the huge debate. No, it's fake as fuck. Are you serious? Jeez. I mean, it's not. It's still dudes jumping around and doing shit. Sure, yeah. So, if anything, it's like... That that pile driver is not real, and it's like, yeah, but it's easier to do a real pile driver on a guy <laughs> yeah. than it is to do one that looks real that doesn't break the guy's neck, you yeah, know. True. So you're like fake bullshit, and I'm like, it's still <laughs> impressive, you know. The worst to me is still the the punch stomp. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. I know. Like, Ugh. yeah, <laughs> absolutely, <laughs> it's bad. Um, but or the chest chop, chest chop. Yeah, where it's like, what? What? You would never do that in a fight. <laughs> Come here, motherfucker! <laughs> two, just ching. Two guys in a bar, and one guy just smack yeah. right across the chest. You'd be on your ass so fucking fast. <laughs> the guy'd be like, "Did you just fucking slap my chest?" <laughs> Now lay down, and I'm going to put you in this leg box. <laughs> <laughs> no, put your leg on top. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's true shit. Yeah. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay. No, I threw you into the ropes. You have to run back to me now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just stopped at the ropes. They're not. Uh... <laughs> oh, fuck. But, yeah, no, do you want – I'm going to just go ahead and ask it again since we've already kind of said it, but, Derek, do you think it's rigged? I do now. What about you? Do you think it's rigged, Mike? I'm going to say no, just to be an asshole. Uh, I don't think you're an asshole. I, I agree with you. I think it's not rigged, but I will say this. I think that the ref, the officials, I'll call them the officials, the referees, they do need to be penalized when they fuck it up. And what, by that, I mean they make – I mean, you can definitely go back and say, hey, you missed this call, you missed this call, you missed this call. And I'm not saying that they need to be fired unless they're, you know, Angel Hernandez or something. But I think they need to be either better trained because this is this whole season has been very inconsistent with officiating. Um, and then I think they also need to get paid <coughs> for the good ones. That's, that's kind of the way I think to try to incentivize – uh, this not happening on a regular basis, especially in a playoff game with that magnitude. It was it was just really tough to watch. Uh, but I was going to briefly bring up wrestling because I heard a shitload about the Royal Rumble. I guess, uh, was it Logan Paul was in the actual Royal Rumble? I saw the where they jumped, jumped together on the opposite sides of the ring. And yeah. That was a cool thing. Yeah. Not, totally not fake. Fake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fake. No, I was talking to a buddy of mine today. I was just like, that's what he needs to do. He'd be a great heel. You know what I mean? He'd be the great bad guy. Nobody fucking likes the guy. So who won the Royal Rumble? Do you know? Who uh, won? I don't. Know. Uh, Dusty Rhodes' son. Oh, Co really? Co Cody Rhodes. Yeah. Okay. I think that's his name. I I haven't watched wrestling in like maybe fifteen years. No. Yeah. Me too. But you know, what was like the biggest matches that you can remember as a kid? Because oh, you were yeah. younger, or you're older oh, than like I am. Ultimate Warrior and Hulk, Hulk Hogan, Hogan. And yeah, the Giants, the Steiner Brothers. Yeah, Fuck, back yeah. before that was WCW. Roids. Yeah, I remember Fuck, watching yeah. WCW with my dad when I was a kid, and yeah, that was like my. I heard about it later in life about like as a father, like you're supposed to sort of let your kid kick your ass up to the point where you're like, all right, that's enough. And yeah. then you just pin him down. And I would always cry when we got to that point. I'd be like headlocking my dad and kicking him and doing all this stuff. And then he would just like pin me down and be like, all right. And I'd be like, dad's not being fair. <laughs> <laughs> so you were, you remember WrestleMania two? I think that was Re WrestleMania two was ultimate warrior and Hogan. No, that was seven or six. That was six. Okay. Seven was ult uh, Hulk Hogan and Sergeant Slaughter, because I went to that one. Oh, no yeah. shit. Wow. Yeah, my dad took me to that one. Oh, wow. Lucky. I never went to WrestleMania. I got to go to, like, a Raw is War here in town once. Ironically, God, shit. the big deal back in the day was Undertaker had won, like, however many WrestleManias in a row uh -huh. or whatever. That was the first one. Oh. So I was at the first one he won at. Son of a gun. What about you, Mike? What was the biggest, like... I don't know, the match that you remember watching live. I don't remember any specific matches. None? I know I know I went to a wrestling thing once 
when I was probably 10 and I remember nothing about it. Oh, shit. I just I remember like being there and seeing the big ring and all that stuff, but I don't remember matches or names or. Oh, yeah. I, my biggest one was actually here in town and it was a Raw is War and it was Stone Cold Steve Austin versus William Regal in a leather strap match. And I was there and watched that. And that was pretty fucking dope. Huh. But That's so, another bar fight I want to see. Two two guys just swinging belts at each other. <laughs> <laughs> in, in Speedos and knee pads. Yeah. That'd be great. Uh, well, unfortunately <laughs> now, that brings us to our predictions because now we know what the uh, – what the Super Bowl is going to be. You've got Kansas City and Philadelphia. This game is played in Arizona, I believe, uh, is where it's at. Naturally, that's the, uh, I think that's the State Farm Stadium. So, you know, making Patrick Mahomes look good because he's, you know, that guy. Mm -hmm. Who you got? Do you have the Eagles or the Chiefs? I really don't give a shit. You really don't? I don't. I I think I, I have I, <clears throat> God damn it, Dad Jesus! You so, yeah, your body's fighting back. <laughs> your yeah, your body's like pick a team. <laughs> <laughs> you care? <laughs> no, I really don't fucking care. I figure I feel like the they already know who's gonna win anyway. So I think it's the Eagles. I have no desire to watch it. I'm, I, I think it's the Chiefs. Honestly, do you really? I mean, I'm I'm a Chiefs guy. Okay, why would I not? Fair. I'm gonna still pick them. So my question is why. Do they not just let technology be the refs instead of having human beings like they can put sensors in the ball, they can put yeah. sensors in every player's pads or whatever, sure. like all over the field. Like you can tell within a centimeter, like where the ball is. Sure. Why yeah. not just do all of that? I've been I, saying that forever. I've thought that with baseball too. Like, mm -hmm. why do they still have a guy being like safe That's when it's coming. like you can have a machine do that? Like AI could ref everything, and we would know with one hundred percent certainty. Yeah, they do, and they and and uh, I know baseball. It's coming. It, you, there will be a, a sensor in the baseball. And it will call balls and strike automatically. They're already doing. They're already doing uh, it. Automated pitch calls uh, or balls and strikes in I think AAA. AAA really. AAA yep. is doing it. Yeah. There's not. You'll still have a home plate umpire to safe and out. Mm -hmm. But balls and strikes are call are going to be called electronically in AAA this year. And the biggest thing, the reason why, I, and I'm a purist, so I, that like initially I did not want that. I want the umpires and stuff like that to kind of suck every once in a while, just so I have something to bitch about. Right. But I was mainly concerned with the pace of play, like how fast is that going to be kind of thing. It's actually pretty damn cool. You can challenge. Like uh, there was a, a guy that basically challenged a, a ball because it was out of the strike zone to him, and it was initially called a strike, and they knew in five seconds. They were like, yep, that's a ball. Ball four, take your base. Huh. So it's it's pretty damn impressive what they've done. But I agree with you. Uh, put a fucking sensor in the football. It's not that goddamn hard. Yeah. It would be so easy to do. It really would. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately, that is all of the sports. This is kind of the time of the, of the year where the sports kind of dwindle down. You kind of get into, like, March Madness whenever it comes around. But other than that, it's kind of nothing going on once football's over. No, so. that's why I, I start with Iron Man 1. Yeah, <laughs> and I go all through the entire Infinity Saga, and that kills about two weeks or so. Fair. Gotcha. That's what I think I might do. It's uh, it <laughs> makes me mad how much I love those stupid terrible movies. Oh, I like them too. I mean, they're so I hate them. Good in a bad way. Oh, I except I, the Wakanda Forever. I couldn't. I not haven't get seen into that, that yet. Uh, I heard it was awful. It's coming on Disney Plus on mm. February first, okay. so I'll be checking it out. But that's tomorrow. Oh shit! Or, day after or tomorrow. maybe midnight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. <laughs> um. Shit, I was gonna say something. I'm gonna watch it on YouTube. Oh, <laughs> yeah, with the Cliff Notes. I actually, um, and all the listeners and stuff like that know it. I've never ever been a superhero fan at all. Yeah, I don't like the movies, the new movies. I hate them. Like the only ones that I actually really did enjoy was uh, like the Batman movies with. Um, What's his nuts? George uh, Clooney. No. <laughs> I was going to say, hey, Val Kilmer. Val, Val Kilmer was okay. No, like all of those, the older older Batmans, those weren't that bad. 
Um, but with uh, <coughs> Heath Ledger as the Joker, that was one yeah. of the best fucking movies. Best movies, period. This is time. it's unrelated, but the Batman reminded me of uh, the, the Kiss from a Rose song by Seal. Oh yes. Have you seen the version of that where it's Seals singing? Oh, uh, it's so fucking stupid. <laughs> it's hilarious, though. Look up Seals singing Kiss by a Rose by Seal. And somebody just edited all these, all this like Seal footage. Oh, God. And it that's sounds funny. like they're humming Kiss to a Rose. <laughs> oh, that's great. Anyway, I forget what they're called. I can't remember the name of them, but have you ever seen the videos of like where it's Elvis comes out? And it's the El- it's actually Elvis, and he's dancing, but they've taken all the music away, and all you hear are the shoes squeaking like on a yes. bat. Oh, oh yeah, sport. yes. And there's a Beach Boys one with Get Around, and they're all just like you can hear them like slapping on their legs. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, that fucking kills me. And yeah, and there's the one with uh, who is it? Mick Jagger and uh, the other guy where they're like dancing, like getting r- awkwardly <laughs> close to each other's faces and stuff. But there's just no, you just hear them. <laughs> <laughs> there's no music or anything it's fucking great it really is oh shit <laughs> well thank thank god we can move past the sports and now we get to have a lot of the of the fun uh we're gonna do a segment it's called overrated or underrated basically uh guys if any of these uh segments that we do if you guys have any suggestions for them you can send them to us at laughing on the sidelines on instagram or tiktok as well uh, but overrated or underrated, you, uh, we have a particular thing. We get to decide whether or not it's overrated or underrated to us. Uh, so, first one. This show. <laughs> overrated. <laughs> it's underrated as hell. Um, but no, first one is. Scotty's Make-A-Wish. <laughs> <laughs> underrated as, as well. Uh, no, first one. Overrated or underrated fantasy football punishments. M- Mike, do you know what these are? I assume it's when you don't win your fantasy football thing and then yeah. your friends get to, like, shave your balls or whatever. <laughs> With, man- With Mike's <laughs> ball shaving. <Yeah. laughs> you scratched it again. <laughs> oh, no, I lost. Come on, guys. <laughs> uh, but, no, uh, this is way, way underrated. <clears throat> and Derek got this close. To having to uh, do the run. Do Not the, this year. Huh? Was Not it the year, year before? Year before, what, yeah. What's the run? So our punishment for our fantasy football league is if you are the worst team in the league um, at the end of the regular season at uh, our minor league baseball stadium, you have to run foul pole to foul pole dressed as a banana. Mm, okay. Yeah. No, not a, it's, it's just is a it, fruit run. It's so the they fruit have run. like a strawberry, orange, watermelon, What's the easiest fruit to run well, dressed as? Well, all of the round ones, but the bananas, everybody There's not in even our, a banana. I thought there was a banana. No. Oh, yeah. fuck. I, uh, I just know the big one, and that's the one like, all of you guys have to have because all of our people in our league are fucking huge. The orange is uh, the toughest one because I, you can only see out of one eye. Okay. So nice. that, is the, that is the toughest one to run in. Okay. All right. But, yeah, I'd say this is underrated. It's great to have, and it makes people not suck during uh, fantasy football. How about you, Mike? Do I think... Overrated or underrated? I I think it's uh, underrated. Okay. I think more people should be punished for more things (laughs) just in general. Absolutely they should. And how about you, Derek? I, I'm with Mike on that. <laughs> I'm all about the Let's punishment. Let's just punish people. I, th- I think that's a fantastic idea. That's a new side gig that you can come up with. Yeah. Punishments? Yeah. Professional punisher? Yes. That's like, uh, you... But no violence. Right. Because yeah. I'm not a very violent guy, but I can, like, show up at your work and, and call you an asshole and stuff. <laughs> Oh, but no, some of them are great. Some of them are like tattoos on your ass of like the weirdest shit. It's like, oh, you didn't meet your sales quota. You got to spend 24 hours in an IHOP. (laughs) (laughs) I've seen that one. There's one where a dude had to dress up like as a, like a beauty pageant with a sash on and stuff like that that says I suck at fantasy football. I thought those are great. Yeah, I mean, I could see that being fun. It depends on how friendly you are with the group that you're playing with because yeah. like i've done a few fantasy leagues where it's like me and five of my close friends and then like f- three or four other guys that i don't really know that well at all yeah and i don't want you know sure i, I don't care if that guy's got to wear a diaper or whatever yeah i'm like i don't even know this guy it's like <laughs> let's make let's make dustin put a tiara on for a day and then be like 
I don't know who that Greg is. Let's make him stick his dick in the pencil <laughs> sharpener. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, actually, no, we're very lucky. We got a very, very close knit group of 12 guys. And I think I'm pretty sure it's been us for however many years. Uh, there's been like four rotating in and out. Like yeah. The same eight. Yeah. But anyways, uh, next one overrated or underrated having a stripper pole in your house. I'm going to say underrated. Really? I think, uh, I mean, if I had one, and I knew that it wasn't going to do what most <laughs> stripper pole videos that I see do, and that is fall over. And <laughs> then it would be a cool thing to, like, I don't know. I would, like, try to exercise on it or something. <laughs> like, really? I, I think it would be a cool thing to be really good at, you know? <laughs> I wouldn't do it like sexually or whatever, but I think it would be cool to grab the pole with both hands and then just be completely straight, like pointing my feet out. That would be a great talent to have. I'm sorry, but I'm imagining you doing it and you look great. Just imagining me spinning with the eyes and all that. Yeah, no, I don't want to do any of that. I just want to do the thing where the guy like walks, fake walks like up the the air or whatever. I think that would be... Yeah, that'd uh, be really cool, man. I would. I think it's actually overrated because if you have, it's pretty much exactly what Mike said. If you put one of those things in your house, it will fall over. But that would be kind of funny too. So I don't know. I'm gonna go with underrated as well. See, just let people get hurt. Punishment. That's there's what no this, downside. That's right. How about you, Derek? I'm gonna say overrated. And I was thinking along the same lines as Mike, like with uh, if you because. My wife's out of town all the time, so I'd just be fucking sitting there twirling around on that fucking thing. <laughs> and then if I ended up getting good at it, that would be the worst thing. Like, I'm just sitting there waiting, like, waiting on something, and there's a pole sitting there. And I'm like, oh, hey, guys, check this out. <laughs> all of a sudden, fucking good. Like, all my buddies are giving me shit. And I'm like, no, 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 watch this. I'm upside down, guys. <laughs> oh, God. The one downside, I guess, is that it's just a vertical pole. So there's, like, if you have a, a treadmill or something, you can at least hang clothes on it. Or yeah. you can do a pole that serves no other purpose <laughs> in the whole world. Unless, you, unless you're on the pole and you're hung outside. And I could hang clothes on you. Like, right. yeah. I just gotta like stay yeah, stiff long right. enough for the clothes to dry. Yeah. That's one of those weird hell things that I think about. Where it's like, God, I hope that's not what hell is. And it's all it's all wool coats. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. That's great. All right. Uh, Soaking wet wool coats. Yeah. <laughs> Next one. Overrated or underrated slow motion videos. Underrated is fucking hell. Those are awesome. I like a good slow mo. Oh yeah, like a bullet going through an apple. Oh yeah, cool shit. Yeah, I watched uh, electricity yes. like do its thing, oh, and you watch yeah. it at like a million frames per second, and you're like, oh my god, it's like. A, an, an infinite amount of little lightning strikes. Yes. Just popping a water balloon is fucking awesome in slow motion. Right. Everything is cool in slow motion. No, well, I mean, not everything. Maybe. Yeah. Like yeah. a guy spreading peanut butter or something. <laughs> be like, dude, just play it at normal speed. <laughs> Watching grass grow in slow motion. Uh, I bet I just lost a bunch of OnlyFans subscribers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he did. Just me, just videos of me spreading peanut butter in slow motion. <laughs> Maybe people are into it. It's, I don't know. I had possible. like fucking 38 subscribers. That was fucking hit and bank. <laughs> Shit. Good job, buddy. Uh, I don't know. How about you? Uh, I'm going to go underrated, too. I like the ones where it shows somebody like getting slapped across the face really hard. Yes. And then you see like the whole face Ooh. adjust. Yeah. To one side and then kind of like recoil back. See like the handprint like <laughs> yes. form and then disappear in yes. the same. Yeah, that's like the Matrix. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> fighting Smith at the end, that punch in the rain. It looks like you just got like a fucking mask on with somebody. Get, like I, I can only remember the one where it was the Mythbusters and they did it and like uh, Adam got smacked and it did. It just looked like his whole face was just getting ready to come off of his skull. Uh, it's fucking crazy. Okay, uh, next one. <laughs> Overrated or underrated? Valentine's Day lingerie. Overrated. Really? 
Yeah, I'm not. A, I I don't like uh, outfits that are just for sex. Okay. Like I like an outfit that serves another purpose also. Okay. And then to to be like, wow, she looks hot in that. Yeah. But it's like if you're those things where the leg part connects to the underwear part with the what the fuck is I don't need that. <laughs> <laughs> That's like you're, you're just gonna wear that to work or something. <laughs> yeah. Like no, I don't like any of that. Oh. Plus, yeah. I don't like my least favorite kind of sex is planned sex. Yeah. Where it's like, hey, it's noon now. You want to meet up about 4.30? And I'm like, no. Like, <laughs> I want things to progress naturally. So if you walk out of the bedroom wearing the sexy outfit, then that just tells me like, okay, I guess it's time. <laughs> I guess we have to do this now. There's no like letting the moment happen or whatever. Are you sure you don't listen to this show? Hey, Siri, <laughs> cancel text reminder to Mike. <laughs> i thought there would be more information but no. siri gets it yeah god uh yeah this like, hey mike it's 4 30 do you <laughs> <laughs> you ready i'm sorry i gotta be more spontaneous i guess yeah uh no it, for me it's way overrated man uh the other thing is is whenever you have that like lingerie uh that's kind of a fucking present for yourself so it's like, hey, honey, I got you something. No, I got me something. I got you a, an outfit that you're going to have to fucking put on, which is going to take you 10 minutes to do that shit anyways. Right. But on top of that, I don't want to get my wife something that is going to be way too complicated to take it off. I don't want that. I just just get regular sex, regular naked sex. That's the best part. Yeah. I don't even want to fuck around with your clothes. Just just jump in bed naked. That's it. Yep. You can keep your socks on. I'm not, <laughs> yes. I'm not fully against uh, socks. I, I wear socks all the time. The only time I do not wear socks is when I take a shower. I, I wear socks when I fuck. Yeah. I, pro I, I do too. Yeah. It depends on the light level. That's awesome. Me but, and yeah. me and Mike are sock fuckers. Well, I've had I I had a girl describe my toenails as claws once, <laughs> and so I've been a little self conscious ever since then. <laughs> ever heard of toenail clippers? Yeah, no. I it was I wasn't to that point in my life yet. Okay. I was in like my my late teens, maybe early twenties. So I wasn't. Wow. It's interesting. That I mean, I knew what toenail clippers were, but sure. I never thought like. I never had gotten a pedicure or anything like sure. that up to that point, and I never considered th the possibility that I would scratch a girl's ankle with my toenails <laughs> until she was like, God damn, man, you need to do something about them claws. And I was like, oh, God, I don't even know your name. <laughs> I'm like Walmart Wolverine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how about you, uh, Derek? Uh, I'm going to say overrated as well. Yeah. Um, it's And it's February, man. We keep our house cold, and I get cold in that shit. Yeah. It's freezing to wear this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. Like I'm trying to get my dick to look all big in the front of it, but it's 62 in the house. Like, no. <laughs> I'm surprised they make it in your size. Yeah, medium. <laughs> yeah. Medium. <laughs> for your they leg. Make it medium. Yeah, buy four of them. Uh, okay. One for every day of the week. Right. Uh, last one. Overrated or underrated? Autism. Overrated. <laughs> really? 100%. <laughs> Look, I grew up in the 80s, and we didn't have a label for everything <laughs> like we do now, but I think maybe some kids are just assholes. Yeah. I, I don't think there's a medical term for that. Just <clears throat> asshole. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's that's probably right. Uh, I'm going to go, this is underrated. Autistic people that are like savants, you know, where they can, they like know everything about one particular topic, one, and they know everything about it, fucking creeps me out. It's so ridiculously crazy. They get so fixated on that one topic. Like That's I'm, true. Oh, man. And But it's, it's creepy, but it's kind of cool as fuck because then they're like the Google for that topic everywhere you go. Rain Man was autistic, wasn't yes, he? Yes, he was. <clears throat> he could count toothpicks when they fell out of a thing. There's a girl I work with. She's like right on the edge of the spectrum, and I give her shit for it every now and again. And like a few weeks ago, I was like, hey, let's go to the casino. I need to make some money. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you're like, all right, roulette table. Where are we going? Where's it going to land? He's like, I don't know. <laughs> well, then what the hell did I bring you for? Exactly. Uh, you're paying you? for your own drinks now. Yeah. <laughs> how about you, Mike? What do you think? Uh, I mean, I think I'm probably a little autistic if I had to guess. Really? Like, I'm not good at eye contact and stuff. And okay. Like, like I, I don't like um, trim your toenails, <laughs> right? <laughs> that kind of stuff, yeah. stuff that I don't think about. You know, you might be the asshole that Derek was describing. I could he answer. <laughs> I feel like I could be. I don't know though. Like I, I don't. Uh, I, as a comedian, I don't have medical insurance. I'm sure that if I went to a doctor and was like, hey, can you check this out? They would probably give me a definitive <laughs> answer. But I don't have – that seems like it would cost like hundreds of dollars oh, to just sure. go to a doctor without insurance. It's a litmus test. It's just they put it on your tongue and it just tells you right then and there. You're I don't fucking- think that's accurate. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's like uh, – because I went through therapy and stuff for a while and I got diagnosed with a couple different things over the course of my years in therapy but then each time i would get diagnosed with a new thing they'd be like oh no this other thing is definitely not you (laughs) and i'd be like well i've been living my last two years based on the fact that i thought i was severely depressed and they're like nope no you're just borderline personality (laughs) and i was like well that doesn't sound worse than depression i guess (laughs) I like how the symbol for autism is like a puzzle piece. Shit. Like that's the one thing they're probably really good, good at, at is fucking right. puzzles. That's right. It's like, oh, what's that tattoo of the cupcake you have? I have an eating disorder. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. All right. Well, that was overrated or underrated. Now we get to move on to a segment called Google This. Uh, these are actual <clears throat> things people have Googled. And uh, I looked them up, and uh, we get to play Google. So uh, basically, just answer it the way that you want to uh, about these things that people have actually Googled. Uh, so first thing, Google this. How to quit a job you just started. You just don't go. <laughs> you just don't show the fuck up. Yeah, it's, that's... It's pretty easy. That's how you quit literally every job. <laughs> yeah, you just don't go. You just stop going, and then you don't answer yeah. when they call... And then you show up a week and a half later and you're like, hi, can I get my check? (laughs) And they're like, what the hell are you doing here? I thought you quit. And you're like, no, I thought I got fired. (laughs) And then you get like a month or two of unemployment because they're not sure about the paperwork (laughs) or anything. Fuck yeah, exactly. Uh, what Mike said, just stop showing up. If you stop showing up, you will not do it. Yeah, fuck the the two weeks notice is way overrated. How about you, Derek? Uh, just call in with them. Keep calling in with the most ridiculous excuses until oh, they fire yes. you. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, like my my stepmom owns a business, and one time a lady that she was getting ready to fire called in and said, I, "I'm not going to make it today. My goldfish is sick." <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! She's like, it's really serious. I got to take him to the vet. Oh. And so, well, you can turn in your keys on whatever day. And she brought her the keys, and she's like, "So, how's your fish?" <laughs> <laughs> Did she's he make like, it? She's like, fish? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, you mean Vandekamp? He's great. <laughs> uh, all right. Next one. Google this. How to get rid of a ghost. Uh, quit being a pussy. <laughs> oh, and yeah? And then boom, it's gone. Okay. All right. Um, I actually have a theory of how to get rid of a ghost. What is if it? If it's a real ghost. If you just stop putting on clothes when you're inside your house. That ghost will not want to stick around. Or he will fuck with you while you're naked. So I'm going to go with that. You just you just got to not wear clothes whenever you're in the house. Eventually, they'll go away. They'll be like, fuck this. Have you seen the size of that small pecker? I'm out of here. I feel like it depends on the reason for the ghost. Okay. Like, I was listening to a guy the other day that was talking about uh, like astral projection and all that stuff back in the 50s and 60s. And... And how they would they sent him to like witness the crucifixion of Jesus and uh, like other dinosaurs and that kind of shit, and they could just send them back to view these things, you know. But they said sometimes like you get a ten to fifteen minute window inside this viewer, and if you're if, if you do something wrong, I don't remember all the details, but you can get stuck in these places. 
uh, and then they can bring your body back, but your soul is stuck in these. So they talk about how they've uh, like abandoned all these souls of people over the years in just random times. And so that's why a lot of like the ghost stories that we see and stuff are they're dressed like they're from the 1700s or whatever, because it's just a dude that lived in the 1700s. Holy that shit. They figured out the right like Gregorian chant sounds and that kind of shit. And it's all interesting stuff. I don't know if that's the direction you wanted to go with this question. <laughs> <laughs> But it's I like that kind of weird shit where it's I like too. it's like, dude, I can't prove that anything you're saying is inaccurate. So it sounds interesting as fuck. To oh me. yeah, oh for sure. How about you, Derek? Call Bill Murray. Call Bill Murray. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think that'll do it. I just watched both of those in the last week or two. What's yeah. that? Ghostbusters. Oh, I've never seen it. What? <laughs> I just think Bill Murray seems like the kind of guy to yep. be able to get rid of a ghost. That he, makes he, sense. Probably he probably would. Uh, you got a hold of that one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Next one. <laughs> Shit. Next one. How is a baby made? Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They don't. They're not good at cleaning. They don't fucking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't know how to run the vacuum. <laughs> Oh, she can't walk. Yeah. Did you mean M A I D? Show the results for M A I D. Oh. You mean how are babies made? Yeah. How oh, are babies I'm made? So sorry, guys. No, that's okay. Oh shit. How are babies made? Um. Through an act of the good Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> um. And Bill Murray. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, actually, I will tell you, um, they're cloned because they are. I I am fascinated with this whole thing with cloning. Yeah. They are getting ready to make a whole bunch of woolly mammoths and, and release them to a, uh, it's like a fucking protected area. And if we um, get them things manscapes, they'd just be mammoths. <laughs> they would just be mammoths. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> uh, but no, I, it's fucking crazy. They know they can do it. They legitimately know they're and they're going to. If they're in, they're going to put them in some place in Siberia. That's I'm equally like neat and like <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know how I feel about that exactly, but uh, apparently a whole bunch of like conservationists, like like wildlife conservationists and stuff like that, who are much smarter than I am about is this a good idea or a bad idea? Apparently it's a pretty good idea. It has to do with something with the ecosystem. I don't know. I can't imagine that there's a chunk of the ecosystem that just needs woolly mammoths <laughs> to yeah. make everything flow smoothly. Yeah. And, you it, know, his name is Joe Rogan. So you can go and hunt them. Motherfuckers is probably what it is. Now that would actually be kind of cool See? to be like hunted a fucking mammoth <laughs> to just have a mammoth head on yeah. your, Oh yeah. Uh, but anyways, uh, how about you uh, there, Dirk? Um, by accident, most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> Never, usually on purpose. Never. Yeah. No. Usually preceded with fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> I told you that story. Take another test. I don't know if Mike's heard it. The first time, uh, my wife and I, we were dating at the time, and she was like, it was New Year's. <clears throat> it's the first time she told me she left me. And so she comes home from work, and I'm hanging out with some friends over at the house, and she's like, hey, I have something to tell you. And I was like, what? She's like, come here. She like pulled me away from everybody, and she, I go, what? what's going on? She's like, I got something I need to tell you. I go, you're not fucking pregnant, are you? <laughs> she goes, no. I love you. And I was like, oh. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst. She still married me, dude. I don't know how the fuck that I happened. don't either. And she's a way better person than you. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, next one. Google this. Where is Waldo? Work in the graveyard shift at the slaughterhouse. <laughs> oh, really? Is that mm -hmm. where he's at? Yeah, he works in a meat plant. Meat packing plant. Meat packing plant. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know where Waldo. You know Him what? and Whitebeard. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Both, um, uh, Waldo is, uh, is snowboarding in some, uh, step on bindings made by Burton. Yeah. That's where he's at. 
How about you, Mike? <laughs> the the Waldo that we see in in the books now is not the original Waldo. Oh, <laughs> he, actually, <laughs> he actually died. He had ALS. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he had a cane, right? I don't. I, <laughs> yeah, I don't want to make fun of him or anything. I just know that <laughs> it's actually his nephew that's running things now. Oh, his son <laughs> wasn't even interested in after the <laughs> battles that his dad had to go through. <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay. Yeah, it's really depressing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! All right, and last one. Google this. Do midgets have night vision? No, they're not even good at jousting. <laughs> not from you, Mike. <laughs> oh, because night. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Uh, uh, no, they, uh, <laughs> if anything, they they see less good because the, the horizon is, <laughs> is lower for them, right? So the sun actually sets sooner. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sets pretty soon for me too. Just uh-huh. so you know, uh, no, they they do not have night vision. They actually use echolocation. That's actually why their voices are so high, so they can bounce that sharp noise off of stuff, and that's how they actually see in the dark. So yep, it's exactly how it works. Science. Yep, science. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is Google this. Now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. Same thing, guys. If you have any suggestion for these questions. Uh, you can send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram. Do follow us on Instagram as well if you don't if you do not already do that because we have no idea what's going to happen to TikTok. And so if you like our jokes and think they're funny, we may not have TikTok for much longer. So, anyways, Did we get kicked off or something? No, no, they're talking about shutting TikTok down completely. Oh, uh, doing that whole deal again? Yeah, are that they? Whole deal. yeah that's the rumor. I know because every other app that's like stealing exactly. our facial expressions Fuck. and all of our thoughts and everything, Absolutely. and they're like TikTok. TikTok's doing it too. No, and TikTok's like, yeah, the but. main one that's doing it. Are you fucking serious? Facebook, Instagram, all of them do the same shit. I think they are. And I think they're, you know how they say, like, the military is like a decade further along than we are, you know? So I, like, they have the camera pointed at your face. I know that they're looking at the faces that I make when I look at the shit that I look at. <laughs> like, they know that when I see like a, if I tear up or if I like something makes me smile or laugh or whatever. And it's like, we're just going to show you more of that. <laughs> we're going to just make you feel this way. Oh yeah. So I don't know if, uh, thanks military. Yeah. I see. I, I all technology uh, makes me feel like that though, where it's like half yeah. of me is like, dude, that would be awesome. And the other half's like, but if it was used poorly, it could ruin everything. Oh, it's yeah. like every Black Mirror episode, basically. Exactly. Where it's like, dude, I wish I had a video camera in my eye. Shit. Like, that would be awesome. <laughs> I wish I could block people that I hated and whatever. But then also, like, I don't want to be locked in a room for two million years or whatever yeah. that one episode <laughs> was Fuck. that still makes me cringe yeah. to this day, dude. The whole fucking show. I, I couldn't watch it. Uh, But anyways, yeah, um, if you do have any ideas for any of these segments, uh, overrated, underrated, Google this, or questions, if we could just send them to us, uh, we'd appreciate it. Uh, First question of the week is, what movie quote do you use every day? Take this big black dick. (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) What is that from? Uh, a lot of movies I watch. <laughs> a lot of movies I watch. That's from a lot of movies, Scotty. I'm sure it is. Your wife was in one of them. Uh huh. Mm. No, not my wife. <laughs> my sister. Not my wife. Your sister. Thank you. Uh, Have some respect. Uh, I was actually being real about this, and that is by Felicia. Every fucking day, whenever we go, <clears> oh, <throat> bye, Felicia. Later, Craig. And especially if the, <laughs> if a guy who I'm helping is named Craig. Oh, every time. Every fucking time. Later, Craig. Every time. How about you? Mine depends on the weather. If it's warm outside, then I tend to quote Ace Ventura 2 and say, kind of hot in these rhinos. (laughs) (laughs) And every time I 
depending on who I'm around when I say that tells me whether they're a cool person or not mm-hmm. or whether they're I'm just old because oh, now no. it's to the point where I'm t- almost too old where people are like what are you talking about oh dude or I'll quote Tommy Boy a lot too 100% that was the one like, I was going to go like, to what'd you do <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite part of that whole movie me oh, too <laughs> it's really well done dude yeah. there's so many good scenes in that movie Absolutely. they're all out <laughs> no gas. They're all out. No, Got to go to the next station. station. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do the Niner, too. Uh, did I catch a Niner in there? Uh, yeah. Where you calling from a walkie-talkie? If I do have like a phone number that has a nine in it, I do that one, too. No, it was cordless. No, it was cordless. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Next question. What's a weird thing for someone to hang on the wall? A portrait of yourself as a centaur. <laughs> Thank you, Aaron Scarborough. Oh, shit. You, you have one of those? Yes. yes. I yes. thought, I I thought you for, did. Yeah, yes. I got my wife that for our anniversary <laughs> years ago. And it's not even my muscular body. It's my shitty current body. It's fucking great. Like I ever had a muscular body. It, it's, but. it is legitimately awesome. <laughs> And the fact is, it's actually up uh, above the fireplace. Well, it? she moved it to the bedroom now, <sighs> so she on time. She needs to get in the mood a little bit, so she'll glance at that. Yeah, that'll I, do it. I can understand. Mm, yeah, that, and then I'm wearing that lingerie, and yeah, yeah, <laughs> with the clips yeah, on the, the clips. on the men, men, minotaur legs. Yes, yes. <laughs> is it a minotaur or a centaur? It's centaur, it's centaur, horse, what's, horse leg. What's yeah. the minotaur again? Like a human body with a lion Bull head. Bull head. head. Bull yeah, head. yeah. Okay. Only reason I know that is from that movie. Role models. Role models. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Uh, let's see. I, I ah, shit. I put a blow up doll. I mean, if it's a really good one, though, it has to be like a really, really good sex doll. You could hang that up when you retire. It. You got to use command strips, though. You put holes in that thing; it ain't gonna stay inflated. <laughs> three, <laughs> three M tape, man. Three M tape. But if you no, you a- need those hooks, and then you just put it <laughs> over the under the armpits, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> those old locker hooks. Is that yeah. a person? <laughs> no, nah, it's cool. She's for sex only. <laughs> she looks like a real person. Is she breathing? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, how about you, Mike? What is that thing? 13? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's bad. But it's a doll. Oh, that's so bad. <laughs> it's fine. Um, I just wrote boogers. Okay. <laughs> okay. If you get like a good one. Yeah. I mean, I don't, it, I think it's, that's a bad thing to hang on the wall, right? Oh, <laughs> yeah. a weird thing. Weird yeah. thing. But and a yeah, weird, weird thing. Quit putting your goddamn boogers on my wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Uh, next one. What's a catchier, more marketable name for the Bible? Kung Fu Jesus and the oh. Twelve Disciples. <laughs> That's the New Testament. I would fucking read that. I would too. Uh, mine's easy. Uh, how to not be a dick for idiots. That's mine. I just wrote the God album. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's fucking great. That sounds like the name of Kanye's next album. It very well could be, dude. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, you mean Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay, next question. Uh, what would your hip-hop name be? MC Donald's. <laughs> of course it would be. Mm-hmm. That's, that's your favorite. That's kind of cool, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote uh, Mike T-H-A hip-hop artist. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty straightforward. Right? <laughs> There's that one guy. Oh, what kind of music do you do? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That's fucking great. Uh, I I just put Lil Scoots. I'm fucking changing in my phone to my <laughs> DJ hip hop artist from now on. Uh, that's freaking good. Scoots Magoots, right? Isn't that what uh, one of your least favorite names for me is? Uh, it's, Scotty is usually the top. So <laughs> okay. That's my least favorite name for you. <laughs> nah, nah. Nah, you like me just fine. You uh, keep telling yourself. I know. Telling. I know. You keep inviting me to places. Uh, and then, Where? I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so remember that you, time you asked? Remember when we were going to come over and clear out some asbestos and make sure <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Last question. The new sex position everybody is trying out. I got mine. Okay. It's the fucking Bronco. That's whenever the girl's <clears> laying <throat> in the bed, doesn't want to have sex, <clears throat> and you go in and you rape her and try to hang on for dear life as she tries to escape. 
That's, that's, that's the fucking Bronco. That sounds absolutely terrible. <laughs> it is. It's awful. And then you hang her on the wall afterwards. <laughs> uh, yeah, those I'll fucking, be back in an hour. <laughs> those, be ready. Those blow-up dolls, they try to run away. Uh, how about you there, Mike? What do you think? I just wrote uh, masturbating while crying alone. <laughs> Everybody's doing it. <laughs> it's the best. <laughs> Uh, how about you, Derek? Uh, I'm going to go with the vacuum cleaner. Okay. That's when you get her from behind, but then you kick both her legs up and start <laughs> fucking her around the room while she picks shit up off the floor. <laughs> That's great. Uh, and then uh, not to mention the slumpkin. You got Yeah, the, the slumpkin. The slumpkin's yeah, good. That's yeah. when you take a shit and jack off. <laughs> Simultaneously? Yeah, yeah, it's like a blumpkin, but you do it by but yourself. But you do it by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I mean, I can't say that I've never. <laughs> it's not that I do it on purpose. I'm not like, I'm going to go shit and jack off. It's just like I'm on the toilet already and one thing leads to another. I'm like, oh, I didn't realize this Instagram video was going to pop up. Instagram is like like the grind on MTV used to be. Where it's like, dude, I'm just trying to watch some good videos. Oh, dang. At least it was in that order, though, where you're yeah. instead of you're like, oh, I'm just jacking off. And I'm like, well, guess we're doing that now. <laughs> I got to shit all of a sudden. No, I don't. I don't shit unless it's directly into a toilet. <laughs> That's a, hey, you call me old fashioned. <laughs> but those are my rules. <laughs> Do you sit on the toilet the right way though? I tend to, yeah. Yeah, so it's, yeah. You, I mean, unless I'm like you know having lunch or something, <laughs> you got to face the other way. And that use is that, that is the right way. It's, that tank it's is a, a table. table. That's yeah. right. The AC Slater. That's right. Uh huh. <laughs> Oh, uh, shit. Well, that is questions and preguntas. Uh, and, uh, yeah, if you guys have any suggestions, do send them to us. We would really appreciate it. Uh, but now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is our Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Uh, last week, I won. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's broken. It's No, no, that's everybody cheering for me. I never win, by the way. Congrats. I never. I'm really proud of you. Absolutely. No, everybody hates me, so they don't ever vote for me, even mm -hmm. if I have excellent answers. But uh, So, yeah, I won, um, I won last week's draft with Blockbuster and Toys R Us. Uh, Derek, uh, came in, uh, second and JP, uh, I think he had maybe one or two pity votes, something like that with his, uh, but as always, uh, we always have our guest, uh, pick first in every single draft. So I get the championship picks. Derek gets the sandwich picks. Mike, you get first pick of the draft and this week's draft is, um, the, uh, what is it? Uh, the things that will ruin your yeah. day draft. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So just regular, you know. Your day's going all good. And yeah. then fucking this happens. You're like, fuck, man. Then That's you're just right. in a bad mood. That's it. That's right. All right. You want me to read one? No, you just, you got to pick one. You got to make sure it's the most important because if any of us pick that one that you have lower on your list, then it, you can't pick it again. Right. Okay. <laughs> um, first one, your first pick. A drunk person trying to talk to me oh that's a good one as a as a non-drinker i don't drink anymore there's nothing in the world more annoying than a drunk trying to have a conversation <laughs> oh, conversation it's always the same thing listen listen i love you man <laughs> <laughs> no, for me, it's always after comedy shows. So it's always a yes. guy that's like, all right, how many Jews does uh, it? And I'm like, dude, don't. Don't. Just stop, please. <laughs> stop right there. I've already heard this one. The answer is clearly <laughs> seven. <laughs> uh, okay. All right, Derek, what is your first pick? Uh, getting stuck behind a shitty driver. God damn you, you motherfucker. That, that drives me Fucking insane. Oh, that is the worst. Who it was I think it was Carlin that said anybody going slower than you is an idiot and anybody <laughs> going faster than you is a maniac. Yeah, he's an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> 
Ah, uh, shit. Okay. That's dead accurate. Uh-huh. It, it is dead accurate. This fucking maniac <laughs> just blew past me. Yeah, I'm in be- the left-hand lane going the speed limit. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Okay. So the first, my first pick is going to be when if your dog dies. Oh. Yeah. That one, it ruins, it ruins your fucking life, man. That's, that's not just a day. That's yeah. A, that's a bad one. Uh, my next pick, so my second pick, this has happened to me one time, and it was awkward as fuck. Zombie dog? No. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Not zombie dog. No, when you're taking a shit at a public bathroom, and there's no toilet paper. Mm. Yeah. No TP in a public bathroom, because you've got to fucking go do something. And if it's in a bathroom with other people in there, if you're all by yourself, it's not that big of a deal. But if there are other people, why in other is it stalls, not that big of a deal? If you're by yourself, how you, do you remedy? Because you go to the other stalls. Surely uh, they're not out of toilet paper in every stall, or well, they well, are in the goddamn Oklahoma City <laughs> Mall, <laughs> at Penn yeah. Square Mall. There's no toilet paper in any of those bathrooms, <laughs> which is a bold move being next to a Brazilian steakhouse. <laughs> it totally is. <laughs> Uh, but no, I could just see somebody where there's no paper in a public bathroom and they're using the hand dryer, just up there spreading their ass cheeks to try to, you know, clean it out. So. I would just take a sock off. <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, all right, you, this is not my sock anymore. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is now the earth sock. <laughs> okay. Use a sock puppet and make, make the voice while you're white. I'm like, no, wait, what are we doing? No, no, no. <laughs> that's fucking great oh shit uh, sorry bud <laughs> <laughs> all right Derek. what is your second pick uh in any situation that you're gonna have to be there for a little bit getting stuck next to a crying baby oh, oh fuck yes i don't know what's worse uh like <clears throat> in a public place but in a restaurant with a crying baby screaming his ass off airplane oh fuck yeah airplane is movie m- movie yeah all of the places to me it depends on how much the parents care that it's happening yes Yes. If they're like, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Then I'm like, oh, dude, that I'm not even listening to that baby. Don't yeah. you worry about it. But if they're just like, <laughs> they're like, babies cry. What do you want me to do? I'm like, yeah. fucking shake it. Do it. <laughs> Make it stop. Push the button. Uh, that's great. All right. Well, Mike, you get two picks back to back. All right. Uh, things that will ruin my day. Um, a new unexplained pain. Okay. <laughs> I'm 41 now, so I, those happen all the time. I've yeah, got one now. just randomly. Like it used to be, I would like do a double backflip off of a bike ramp and like land on top of my head, and then have like just be like, oh man, mm-hmm. and then my whole life would be fine. And now like somebody says my name, and I turn my <laughs> head too quickly, and I'm like, oh, I can't look left for the next three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> okay uh so, so that's one okay. uh, another one is uh uh the er- having to poop as as i'm stepping out of the shower <laughs> 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 oh you know you can just poop in the shower if you want no you can't <laughs> your mom yells at you <laughs> hypothetically uh, yeah true uh all right how about you derek Getting stuck behind someone who takes forever to order. Oh, fuck. Yes. Like, um, I don't know. What com- Bitch, this is McDonald's. <laughs> They've been around for 70 years. <laughs> yes. What do you want? I'll take an Arch Deluxe. Yes. <laughs> Are you shitting me? That was ended in 1995. Just yes. give me a McPizza. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Yeah, that's the worst. And here's the thing. I told my wife whenever we first started dating, whenever we would go to a fast food place, I would tell her, we would, hey, we're going here. We're going to McDonald's. Think of what you want. Because for the first two times we went to a drive-thru, she was that fucking person. Uh-huh. And I'm like, 
It's McDonald's. It's, <laughs> it's fucking McDonald's. You know what you want before you left the house. Yes, yeah. exactly. I knew what I was getting. How do you not automatically think that shit? It drives me absolutely crazy. It does me too, but I also do the same thing. Like I, so many times I find myself pulling up to a drive through and going, let me get a, uh, oh, uh shit. yeah, I'm that guy sometimes. Okay. So I apologize for ruining people's days. <laughs> it's a it's a choice though. Do I want the thicker burger or do I want more bun today? <laughs> How do I feel, you know? Yeah. Do I want to take the chance of of them putting onions on the thing that I ordered with no onions? Yeah. It's better to have it on a quarter pounder because those are bigger onion chunks and much easier to pick off <laughs> than the thousand tiny onion squares that they put on Big Macs. Uh huh. Yes. yes. I am with you 100% hate onions, and they fucking... I mean, you can ask for no onions, but somehow, sometimes, that one fucking onion gets on your cheeseburger, yeah. it ruins the whole fucking it burger. It ruins everything. God, and people that don't hate onions don't experience that, obviously. Yes. And so I always say... Just replace onion with dog shit. <laughs> just however I say it, just imagine it's dog shit instead. Yeah. Like, no, we're just some just some dog shit flakes on top is all. <laughs> it. It's like, yeah, that's bad. I don't want that. There was one tiny piece of dog shit on your burger. Come on. Oh, that's great. Okay, I have uh, I have two that are very very accurate. Um, if uh, somebody hits you you in your car, okay. so like minor car accident, right? Yeah. That ruins your fucking day. This one hits a little bit home for me, and it just pisses me off more than anything. On sorry, I didn't mean to hit you. No, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> sorry, but this drives me absolutely fucking crazy. If if somebody if like I'm pulling into Walmart and I watch somebody take a cart to their car and then don't go and put it up uh -huh. where it's supposed to fucking go. Yeah. Absolutely ir infuriates me. So I'm going to put not put up in, or not putting up your shopping cart. Absolutely pisses me off. Uh, Derek, uh, next one, you get one pick. Um, I'm going to go with, let me get, uh, Let's go with uh, your, when your favorite team loses. Oh, sports team loses. Yeah. That's, that's bad, yeah. Yeah, like if it's an important game. Uh -huh. And I'm not even a Bengals fan. I'm not even discussing that. But like when... Like fucking, Ukraine? Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Ukraine. No, I get yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> like when the Bears lose to the Packers, don't go near me. Yeah, that's true. He hates it. Uh, how about you, Mike? You get two in a row. Um, okay, well, based on the thing I just said, I one of mine is finding an onion in my food. Yes. <laughs> so we've cleared that up already. Oh, yeah. And then the other one, this is... This is your last pick. Easily the worst one, the worst thing that can possibly happen. A phone call. <laughs> <laughs> From anybody, huh? Anybody. <laughs> yep. I don't. I'm like, what in the fuck is your problem? <laughs> Note to self, don't call Mike ever. No, just text me, man. Okay, it's, I, I could do that. It's 2027. <laughs> I'm just, for the people sure. who watch this years Abs later. Absolutely, yeah. All right, Derek, it is your last pick. When your power goes out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, uh, that definitely. I got to fucking read now? <laughs> what is this shit? <laughs> Buy candlelight, nonetheless. Uh, sign up for this? Yeah. I like a, a good power outage, depending on uh, several factors. Mm -hmm. If it's springtime and it's nice and the windows are open and it's raining outside like thunderstorm and the power goes out, I don't really give a fuck. If it's zero outside, then that's when I care. You yeah. Know? Or yeah. if it's 100. <clears throat> well... I uh, I was actually gonna pick that. I was gonna pick like your internet goes out because then you can't watch any sports, you can't look anything up, stuff that fucking sucks. So that was my last pick. Um, but I'm gonna bring one back that actually also has happened to myself for my last pick, and that is gonna be a uh, tagline for this show that everybody's very familiar with, and that is flooding your fucking basement. <laughs> that is the worst. 
And uh, Jeremy's basement flooded, I think, once every two months, something yeah, like that. Yeah, doing that. And, uh, and then the room over, I had uh, my water main broke at where it goes into my house. So it was shooting six feet from my wall onto the floor in there. Luckily, the fucking um, the pump is over there. So, yeah. You would be surprised how hard those water mains are to break with a shovel. <laughs> it's yeah, yeah. It's just you doing it <laughs> yeah. every time. Oh, he yeah. hates this. <laughs> <laughs> that was probably one of the worst experiences of, of my life because they came out and, and priced it out. So, and you've been on you know my deck and stuff like that. The water main is directly underneath my deck. So I had to pull the deck out, and then I had to dig. No bullshit. Like nine feet into the ground to be able to access that fucking Who line. had to dig? I did. Me I would have just moved. Me and Steve. I think Steve did most of it, didn't he? I, he did it once. Once uh, I I was too short to be able to lift the sh- the dirt out of the hole. That was whenever so you got Steve like had a foot to. down, and then you're like, "All yeah. right, Steve, you got these other eight feet, right?" <laughs> I know you're competitive. Yeah. God, that sucked. But, all right. Bet you can't dig a hole in two hours. Shit. It took us all day. Uh, but yeah, that is our draft uh, for this week. You can go to uh, Laughing on the Sidelines on Facebook and vote. The draft is up Wednesday, uh, and you can vote by using the corresponding emoji. Click on that. That is your vote. And uh, whoever wins uh, gets a, I don't know, what, what, what prize do you want next week? Because I think you're going to win. Something food related. Do you want uh, onions? cheeseburger yeah. with no onions, right? Uh, yes. Okay, that'll work. That's what you get next week. Uh, but now we get to do move you like on. Onion rings? <laughs> I do. I'm weird. That, yeah. No, I, I'm the same way. It's so I, I, fucking. I weird. like certain so onion. So you rings. like battered dog shit? Yeah, yeah. I'm just not grilled or sautéed. <laughs> right. right. I like my dog shit deep fried. No, I like. I don't like if I take a bite of an onion ring and the onion slides, slides out. out. No, fuck that onion. But yes. I like like Burger King onion rings because mm-hmm. they take those and literally make like an onion paste. Yes. And then put them in like a little. Uh, a uh, Play-Doh mm-hmm. shaped thing. They're t- not real food at all, but right. they're good. <laughs> Just know I don't like the crunch yeah. of an onion. Yeah, um, same fucking way. That's weird, man. Uh, but yes, now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and nothing else because we don't have JP here and uh, no Lego thing. Uh, What do you want it to be sponsored by? Waffles. Waffles. Let's go with waffles. (laughs) Waffles are delicious. Yeah, let's go with the awful waffle. Waffle House. I think. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good yeah, one. Yeah, sponsored by Waffle House. Waffle House, because they have all kinds of money to throw around. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? <laughs> we need to be sponsored by them. We do. We sure do. Uh, but no, this maybe they'll open one here. Yeah. Uh, I'm so happy. I just want chicken and waffles now. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. That is such a Midwest thing that I can't get behind. Well, that is the delicious. Chicken it's and the waffles. Perfect mixture of salty and sweet oh, and savory. It's no. The best. Mm. It, it's it's like people with the chili and a cinnamon roll. Can't I do that. I don't. Ooh, I, I d- like that too. You were fucking uh. kidding me. I can't do it. Yeah. I cannot do it. It doesn't make sense. But anyways, I don't like chili. Unless, you don't like chili? No. Unless yeah. it's deep fried, then I don't like it. <laughs> But no, What's wrong? With, what is it that you don't? Do you like spaghetti sauce? Yeah, I just don't like chili. You just don't like the I'm chili just, flavor, huh? Like I don't. Dis, it doesn't disgust me. I'm just not a fan of it. Hey, no, you just got just try my wife's chili. Yeah, there's that shit. <laughs> You've never had my chili, right? That's the fucking worst thing in the world. Oh, I, know. I hate that oh. shit. It drives me nuts. You've never had my wiener in your butt. <laughs> yeah, that's what I told JP when I said in like gay sex, and he's like, "You haven't had my wiener in your butt. <laughs> you haven't tried any of my onions." <laughs> Anyways, all right. Well, this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation is would you rather have a conversation with a drunk person for one hour or while you're sober, while you're sober, Ugh. or go to dinner for an hour with a screaming baby with the parents not trying to calm it down? I feel like both of those could be the same person. (laughs) Like, that would make it even worse, you know? That's why I don't want to be a dad. Just like, (laughs) oh, my God. And another time, then this guy was like, you can't go in there. That's where I go. And the whole time, the baby's just, Oh, God. 
Like, that's the ultimate terrible thing. If I had to pick one, I guess I would say the crying baby because I feel like that's it's the same noise. So my brain could tune it out after a certain amount of time. But when the drunk person is talking, you have to, like, respond to each individual thing. Uh Uh-huh. With the baby, it's just like phew, loud noises. <laughs> yeah, uh, I can't do that, man. Yeah, I, I can't do the baby. Uh, first of all, I'm after an hour of that shit. I'm killing the parents. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm knocking the parents the fuck out. It's and, easier to kill the baby, and I'm then you. I'm drowning the baby. Okay, all right. Um, so I can't do that because then you know jail. I was just gonna leave the restaurant, but, <laughs> but yeah, no. before Mur- I get out of here, murder, <laughs> infanticide. Yeah, uh, but but take no. this baby to the sink before I leave. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, but no, I I think I could I could do the the drunk conversation. While it, it pisses me off a lot to do, I hate the baby way more. It's so, like uh, like locusts or cicadas or whatever. Like yeah. for, to people from New York that visit Missouri or Kansas or whatever, they're just like, "What is that noise?" <laughs> yeah. And to me, I'm like, I don't even hear it. Yeah, dude. it's not even a sound you to me it anymore. Out. Kind of soothing to me, as weird as that is. Exactly, yeah, it is. I it's know. weird. Uh, but no, I just I think that I I'm I'm intoxicated enough to where I think I could get into that mindset and actually have a conversation. Or I could fuck with that person a lot. And I think that could be fun. Yeah. So I'm going to do that. I don't have the patience, man. That's all right. I just, I, I've done a podcast with Derek Alders <clears throat> for four years. You, you learn patience eventually. That was going to be my fifth pick was doing this show. <laughs> <laughs> well, shit, Derek, what are you going to do? Uh, I'm going to go with the drunk person. Mm-hmm. I'm a veteran. <laughs> uh, yeah i bartended for fucking six or seven years yep so i've had those conversations mm-hmm. and i'm just it's a lot of oh yeah yep mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah yep. mm-hmm. talking to a drunk is a lot like talking to a child uh-huh. you just have to go wow really <laughs> <laughs> yeah and then they'll just talk for another five or ten minutes. No yeah. What's your way. favorite animal at the zoo? <laughs> oh, man, that is crazy. Yeah. Two Okapis fucking. That's what yeah. I mean. Yeah. Uh, so, so, yeah, I, I I'm a seasoned vet, and I cannot do a crying. Man, crying babies is like number. It's yeah, fuck. Yeah, it's up there for me, too. I can't do it. It's the worst. I'll, and, I'll outcry a baby. <laughs> <laughs> really? It's like barking at a dog. Yeah. 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 I'm like, Dogs you like <laughs> this? I can fucking do this all day. <laughs> <laughs> and the baby's like, wham. I'm like, ah. <laughs> He's like, oh, God, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. uh, it damn seems it. really annoying now that I hear it from the outside. <laughs> yeah. God damn. Dude, this has been a fun episode. This is this is uh, awesome. Yeah, I, you're I, not the only thing that drug it down. Yeah, I, but I normally do that. That's mm-hmm. actually my job. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, uh, Mike Baldwin. So I hey. so you got any shows coming up anytime soon that you're aware of? Or yeah, I got some random stuff here and there. I've got uh, a week in Arizona in March. I've got a week in Tampa, Florida in May. I'm um, going to Illinois in a week or two mm-hmm. to do some random stuff. Uh, I don't know. You can go to mikeisfunny.com and check me out there. You can follow me on all yeah. the shit. I'm on TikTok and uh, Twitter and Facebook and Instagram. What's your handle on uh, TikTok? Comedian Mike. Com- Comedian Mike. You're yep. the only one that has that name? Uh, apparently, yeah. Wow. That's well, I, impressive. My name on everything is a version of something. Yeah. Comedian Mike Baldwin is Facebook and Instagram. Comedian Mike, because the Baldwin made it too long, I guess. TikTok yeah. has a length thing. So yeah. just Comedian Mike on TikTok. Comedian M on snapchat oh because i had comedian mike baldwin on snapchat but then they deleted it because i had another app that was saving all the snaps oh, that shit. girls were sending me without showing them that i was saving it <laughs> <laughs> which was an awesome app that i had for about a month before they cracked down on it and then they completely deleted my but yeah i have a lot of uh boobs and stuff (laughs) good times oh yeah if you're one of them lucky girls uh but yeah uh but yeah man thanks a lot if you ever do uh if you're ever in the area and you want to come back on again we'll have to have you on again i'll be here every is it every day or every week 
No, it's just once a week. All right, once a week. Is your my is your MySpace handle Mike the Hip Hop Artist? <laughs> I don't remember what. I think my MySpace was still when I was on AOL days. Fuck yes. So it might have been Baldwin ICP. <laughs> The letters are I S E E P E E. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was just the letters. Oh <laughs> uh, well, thank because you. Because I got much. you in trouble with Snapchat. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. What? I don't. I just want to look at some P. Come on. <laughs> well, thank you guys very, very much for tuning in to another episode. Thank you again, Mike Baldwin. Go check him out. Follow him on TikTok. Great dude. Can't wait to have you on the show again. We had a lot of fun with you today. Uh, and thank you to all the listeners, guys. Thank you so much for helping us, uh, you know, get our content out there. I know that a bunch of people are still stealing our sound and they keep commenting and tagging us in and, and that just makes that sound go even further. So uh, chances are, if you see one, we've probably got uh, somebody let us know, but thank you to all of you guys. We sincerely do appreciate all of you. Uh, keep doing what you're doing. And as always, we like to say guys do us a favor. If you like us, tell your friends, but if you don't like us, uh, we hope your balls explode right before your 6 PM fuck session. <laughs> if you don't like us, uh, by the way, Google oh. Brevin Galloway. <laughs> Uh, sorry. I don't even know where I'm at. Now you fucked me up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But, um, yeah. What, what do I ever say? Smash that like button. <laughs> yeah. No. Right? Fuck yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, if, if you don't like us Tell your enemies. and until next time, guys, uh, Red Bull gives you wings <laughs> until next time. Keep laughing. Asshole. We will see y'all later. Take care. <laughs>